it's like another world down there. It's like so relaxing, so peaceful. So you forget about everything. You forget about work and worries about bills and all that. My name is Ana Cárdenas. I teach middle school, general science. I have two boys, Nicholas and Justin. This year has been very different. The boys stayed home, doing school at home. How are you? Good. My dad works like every day from like very early morning to very late night. We live in South Florida and as beautiful as it is, sometimes it's difficult to get out there, especially when we're busy Monday through Friday. I have a little bit of cabin fever for my boys. They have been in the house for a whole year now. The Florida National Parks Association started over 50 years ago through the help of organizations like Hydroflask. They created this Connecting Families program to get people out there that maybe otherwise wouldn't have had this opportunity. Biscayne National Park is 95% water. It's the largest marine park in the national park system. It's a beautiful day. I'm really excited to get Anna and her family out there. I hardly spend time with my family because I'm always working so much. Once you told me about this, and I told her, yeah, let's do it. OK, guys, we're going to have you come on in here and get all your gear and make sure you have everything you're going to need for the day. I'm really excited, a little nervous about how cold the water might be in March. Are you guys sure you don't want one? No, I'm good. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Right before I jump in the water, I just hope there's no sharks around. That's my fear, sharks. <laughs> we are right here right now at Dante Fassell Visitor Center, and we're going to shoot across the bay over here to Sands Key. Uh, there's a nice little spot right here with uh, some deep water right up against the mangrove roots uh, where we're going to start to see all of those juvenile fish and everything out there. There's over 600 species of fish that come through this national park. To put that in comparison, Yellowstone National Park has 16 different species of fish. Our diversity here is just really astounding, and that's what sets us apart from a lot of the other national parks. Now, when you're snorkeling out there, the fish aren't going to be as bright and colorful as you would expect to see out on the reef, because it's not until they reach sexual maturity that their colors really start to develop and they really are trying to attract a mate. This place, it's so unique and it's so important. It's not just about providing a home for the fish, it's about us. The mangroves protect the shoreline when we have hurricanes and storm surge, so we don't have those huge undulations of water that are so devastating. Yeah, I'm very proud of my two boys. Every time that I bring up an opportunity for us to go outside for a little bit, they get very excited. you can actually see photosynthesis taking place out there in the seagrass beds. As these plants are photosynthesizing and producing oxygen, you can see little bubbles forming on the blades of the grass. It's the only place in the world that I know of where you can actually see something like this. Any uh, natural area is important to preserve and to conserve. Being able to take people out there so that they can see it, they understand it, and they appreciate it, I, I know it, it changes people. Definitely you get to see a lot of beautiful wildlife here. It looked like an alien planet, like all the stuff was all different, like from the normal stuff you see every day. As an educator, I feel that it is so important for kids especially to be able to interact with nature, to get out, to play, run, especially uh, for their mental health. The Florida National Parks Association wants to give this to you two young guys. You guys are the next generation that need to make sure that we have these places for everybody and families to get out to enjoy. Thanks, I appreciate the gift. Absolutely, guys. Today's a reminder of how important it is to be able to get outside and spend time with family. People definitely need to be aware of the beauty of what we have here in our backyards. Almost. I don't want to